Oh, I get it. Like, oh, hey, get it. Hey. <laughs> Guys, y'all get to get greeted with Samad's foot again. Say, hey, bud. He didn't scratch his leg up. He's a boy, y'all. Y'all know how they do. Anyways, hey. Oh, I got to show y'all the bag that my camera is sitting on. I have a very talented friend. Um, He is, I, I call him world renowned. But his name is S. Ross Brown. He is an artist, um, amazing visual artist, painter, illustrator. And y'all about to see one of his amazing pieces because he got some of them um, printed on canvas bags. So we're going to the beach today. I'm taking that bag as my beach bag. I pray that I don't get it messed up. My little sand ain't going to hurt it. But um, y'all see someone standing up. This is what he likes to do. He has been doing this for a, quite a while. Uh, probably about a month now. He just loves to stand up. So, yeah. Say yes, I do. Let me show y'all on the door what I got. My room is messy. Don't judge. Matter of fact, I'm not. I'm going to have to clean it up. I want to show y'all the um, bouncy that I got him. Hold on. So one of my friends was like, I was going to gift you one of those. I got a corner at home um, of stuff to give to you. By the time I get it from her. He gonna be done with this. So it's a little bouncy. It's really cute. He loves it. Samar has on his Target onesie. I've been waiting for him to be able to fit this for so long. Cause I bought um, my niece Layla the same shirt. So it's a onesie that she just has the same shirt. On the front it has love. Um, and then the, I think the O is Africa. Y'all, why do these brands keep forgetting that Madagascar exists? If you know what I'm talking about without me explaining, drop a comment down below and tell me if you notice that. Anytime you see Africa on something, they always forget about Madagascar. I would be so sad if I was from Madag Madagascar because they just be acting like y'all don't exist. Y'all African too. So the shirt does not have Madagascar, Madagascar on it, but whatever. Let me show y'all. Hold on. You want to show them your shirt, bud? You want to show them your shirt? You want to show them your shirt? I just love you. He's always in a good mood for the most part. For the most part, until he get hungry, right? <clears throat> no, I'm not earning my shirt. I'm just going to the beach. I probably should if I do take a photo, but I really don't care. It's a little. This shirt is a little. Um, oh, he don't, he want mommy's attention right now. I just got the shower, so he was sitting by himself. He like he's pretty good by himself though. Like he'll sit on the bed and like watch the light because it'd be light coming in through my window. So that's his shirt. Well, that's his onesie. I gotta put him back in my arms because he needs some loving. Y'all, adjusting to work has been um, interesting. It has not been bad. So this is my outfit of the day. I'll show y'all my bathing suit once I get to the beach. All everything I have on is pretty much old. These are super old. Like I just got to the point in life where I could fit these the way they're supposed to be fit. Got these from a thrift store. Got this from Express. This ain't that old. Um, but yeah. Gotta pick my baby up before I do that. I know, baby. I gotta get back and talk to him about work. That's what I was talking about. Y'all know I be all over the place. Look at this bag, sis. Isn't it beautiful? So that's his little signature right there at the top. S. Ross Brown. And this piece, this piece is called Quintessential Funk LP. It's amazing. And it's also on the back too. I love this thing. And it's really sturdy. I do wish the straps were different, but I might even buy some fabric and get somebody to like sew some like Ankara print or just a, like a really funky, colorful fabric um, and make a nice like belt to put on here. But everything else is super sturdy. I love it. Y'all can order yours. Go to srossbrown.com. Um, S Ross and then Brown has an E on the end. Dot com. Um, and just go to his store. You can shop his prints, his uh, glissiers, uh, his originals. I don't know if he's selling the originals, but you can you can expect to pay a pretty penny. That bag was not that bad for his work, because I know the prices of his work. But um, if you are if you love art, if you love black pieces, black artists, you want to support the man is dope. If you're in the Richmond area, he has a studio you can go to as well. He does classes there. Um, you can hold the space for events. So just go hook the brother, go talk to the brother and um, let him hook you up and tell him that I sent you. So lay. 
So I don't know if I showed y'all, but the ends of my hair are like that brown color. Cause everybody be asking me where my son's hair color comes from. Hold on, let me show y'all. You see? You see? His hair is brown. What are you doing, bud? Mommy gotta go cook. My sister gonna be mad that I'm not ready. I gotta talk about work. That's what I was talking about, Lord. So as far as work is concerned, I have been back. I am adjusting pretty well. My first day being away from him was not that bad, my sister. I knew I was gonna miss him, but again, I've told y'all so many times, everything is mental, so I prepared myself mentally. I knew I was still gonna have my emotions, but I, I wasn't tripping too bad being away from him for the first time for so like, long. Like, I don't leave my son with people. Like, he's been with my mom before and my sister. Girl, you got a key? Come on and tell. I'm not opening the door. I'm vlogging, sis. But um, even when I left him with them, no longer than three or four hours, y'all. I just am so attached to him. <coughs> yes, we so attached. So that was the longest I had left him. But it was not that bad. I just told people, all right, he's good. Stop asking me about him because I'm going to cry. <laughs> like, But I love that they, you know, check on him and stuff like that. So he is a superstar at work, but things are going good. I'm just happy to be back and making a check, honey. I got to replenish what I have lost doing everything about myself. Um, being a new mom, um, being a homeowner, I just purchased a car. Um, it's been a lot on my plate financially, but I saved up for times like this. And even the things that popped up that were not expected, um, where I was pretty much fending for myself when I did, don't need to be, I came through. Because I was saving. So save your money. Open up another bank account that you do not use. Don't get a debit card for it. If you get it, chop it up. Just save your money. Put a percentage of your check in there. Never look at that account. That is for your emergencies only. Okay? Okay. Um, I have other financial advice. But I will do a video on that later if y'all want to see. So drop a comment below and let me know. Who is that? Layla? Okay. Alright, we got to go to the beach, y'all. It's going to be a good day. I am debating. I'll probably have my answer by the time we get to the beach. Whether or not I'm going to let him touch the water. Because we went before. We've gone to the beach before. But um, he was so young. He was, I mean, he's still young. We went about, about, a month, about a month ago. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll let his feet just like, you know, like scrape the water or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. He loves me. Because <laughs> yeah, I was just fussy until my day. Hey, Layla. Hi. You look beautiful. Come here. Let me put you on the vlog. Stand right there in front of the window. Say hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thank you. I'm going to come. Uh-huh. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Me too. Some more. Yeah, he's coming. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, because, because my mommy brought the bucket and the shovel. Oh, she did? See, she got to finish packing and cook real quick. Your mom going to be mad at me, but I'm coming, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, Samad. Hey, Samad. Hey, Samad. Say hey, Layla. Did he eat? Mm hmm We're probably going to eat again, eat in the car. Eat in the car? Mm hmm So we're going to drive my mommy's car. Mm hmm We're going to drive Titi's car. Yeah, we got to put your car seat in there. I'm going to be stuck in the middle between two car seats, child. So I bought my car because I needed more space, but now that things like this happen, like all of us have to be in the car, like my sister and my niece, I don't have as much space as I thought I did. So, um, I lease my car and I'll probably get something else once this lease term is over with. I know, baby. Get something bigger. Because I also needed a bigger car for my job, too. That was in the plan, but I didn't think it was going to be this soon. Well, no. It was in the plan. I knew it was going to be soon, but he pushed it to be sooner. I'm going to be right back. All right, baby. I'm coming downstairs. All right, I Get my life together. We about to have some fun. Hey, we about to go to the beach. Right, Samad? Right? Right, buddy? You got the hiccups? Him. 
And you have growing? Oh. Him growing. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me hit the road. We'll be back soon. Made it to the beach, and they got some raggedy uh, Caribbean food out here. I just don't know about it, but you know, we're making it work. We're making it work. Layla, say hey. She's building something back there. My man over here with no clothes on. Getting his whole life sunbathing. Get your life, son, get your life. And my feet crusty. Don't tell me you already know. Taja over here. In her life, and there's a lot of people at the beach today more people than the last time, but it's not too crowded though. Because, like, Virginia Beach is crowded, we're at Buffalo Beach, and it's more people like down past that uh, pier thingy over there. Bless you, bud. Hi, guys. What you doing? I went and got some water. We fetched the pail of water. <laughs> we fetched the pail of water. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just, you know, being a mother. They're doing like a, I don't know, something to do with a wedding over there. So the music is popping. We've been here for a couple of hours now. We're just chilling. You ready to go back? Me and Layla about to go get back in the water. I forgot my camera. I was like, let me grab my camera and get some footage. Samaya is in um, here. We actually, I let him get in the water, not all the way, but I let him get his feet and his legs wet. And I um, got a pair of, like, um, what is it called, y'all? Um, the swimmer thingy that he put on over his diaper. I can't talk right now. But yeah, I let him um, wear that, and then we got him water. He loved it. So now he's sleeping. Now he knocked out. Y'all can see his hair color, what I was talking about earlier, too. And say, I feel cool. It's popping. It's popping. It's popping. My is It's popping. It's popping. Hey, get it, lay. Oh, I get it, lay. Oh, hey, get it. Hey. <laughs> You want to say anything to the vlog? Huh, We at the beach. We at the beach? That's all she wanted to say. But yeah, as you can see, we are at the beach. Having a good old grand time. Uh, Y'all can't really see my face in suit. Uh, but it's old, like I said. Have little shingles on it. I always mix and match my bottom and my top. But all right, let me go and enjoy myself because I'm really I'm enjoying this. Say bye bye. Ah! Somebody is taking a nap. Knocked out, baby. Knocked out. Okay. I'm about to be knocked out with him. I think I'm gonna read though for a little bit. How did I do, girl? I didn't even have a mirror or nothing. I just put it on my head over top of this. But I know this look a mess. I'm just saying what y'all think. Okay, I'm not being serious. I know it's just, you know, you know, whatever. How about this? Oh, now y'all get to see my baby. Look at sis, but don't she look so cute? Hey, sis. Move that fake Jamaican food out the way, chair Cause I'm mad. I want my twelve dollars today. I wish they had a suggestion box, girl. Cause my suggestion would be um, stop playing with me. My suggestion would be um, going home, chair Try that shit again, chair Y'all need to do a study group. I 
I got a cone head. I cannot stand the shape of my head. This looks so funny. This looks funny, Tajay. Yeah, that's because I got over my blind mark. Just to say it. Whatever. <laughs> I'll keep practicing. <laughs> It's super shiny. I just got out of the shower and I did my face routine. I don't know what's going on with the face, but um, got some bump yeah. action over here and also right here. I don't know what's going on, but um, yeah, we made it back home. The beach was fun and relaxing. Um, that's all I've got for today, guys. I definitely have something on my mind, but I just don't feel like talking right now. <laughs> I know that's probably surprising for some people, but uh, I guess I'll just keep it short and simple. Um, this is random, by the way. It has nothing to do with today or anything. But just in general, I want to say that time is up. Time is up for living a life of mediocrity. Um, and what I mean by that is, y'all know I talk about um, healing and authenticity and trauma those are like my topics my hot topics and life is happening now we can't keep waiting for other people to get their stuff together to live the way we want to live um keep praying for those people if other people are involved with it <laughs> excuse me if it's just you that's in your own way get out of your own way life is happening now and you need to enjoy it I know you're going to have bad days, but oftentimes we have more good days than bad. So, <laughs> really um, take advantage of now. That's all you got is now. So, um, these are lessons that I'm learning. <laughs> I just wanted to take, excuse me, I don't know why I'm sneezing. I just wanted to, um, somehow look at that be great. I just wanted to take time to encourage you because that was on my spirit and um, although I almost didn't talk about it, I, God said, speak it girl, you ain't even that tired. I am, but you know, not tired enough to give a little word, just a small smidge of a word. So yes, life is happening now, make it count, enjoy your days, you don't need a hundred million, a hundred million thousand dollars to simply stop, breathe, and just be still and be okay with the now. It's going to work itself out. As long as you take one step toward God, he's going to take ten towards you. So, stay prayed up. Um, stay prayed up. Keep your faith and trust the process. And trust God. He got you. I'm telling you. So me and my love bug are about to go to sleep. I gave him the best bath ever. Oh my gosh. And I know he about to be knocked out. I'm going to nurse and go to sleep, honey. So yeah, guys. Thank y'all for watching. And um, Oh, I got a fresh retub too, girl. Yeah. Francis says she don't think my edges are falling out. I mean, it's not drastic or anything, but I just know me and I know my hair. And it's just this little section right here. And it's on both sides. My edges are typically full. Y'all see how all this is just full? It's normally like that all the way across. I'm just talking about this section. It even feels a little ball. Matter of fact, that reminds me to go get my oil. Let me show y'all something real quick and then I'm going to log off. So I've talked about my friend Kamala multiple times on my channel. And um, she's a hair cultivator, natural hair stylist. Uh, but she also developed her own oil. And um, it is it says nourishing oil blend, protecting, restoring, transforming your hair and scalp. I'm going to go ahead and go with this. I don't know why I didn't think to start using Dr. Savy's oil that I already had. I love this stuff. It smells so good to combat um, my, what I think is starting of my hair. I'm coming, baby. My hair doing its thing. I don't know what's going on, bro. But I'm going to put Dr. Savy on my side. That oil got on my finger by accident. So I'm going to just use it. 
And I'm gonna take Kamala on the other side. I love this little tip. That's good stuff right there. I like her packaging. Just a little bit. Oh, just a little bit. That's more than a little bit. Dr. Savies smells delicious. Hers is more earthy. Dr. Savy smells sweet, like vanilla, and I love vanilla. Mm. You smell good. I used the Vino Baby. Somebody gave me that um, at my work baby shower. Normally, I use Dr. Bronner's, the baby unscented version, but I wanted him to be smelling good tonight, so I used that, and he smells delicious. All right, good night. <laughs>